So here is my breakfast for today. I just did avocado toast with truffle oil, red chili pepper flakes, and then some cilantro, and then added some strawberries. And I have my protein coffee right here, which you guys did see me make. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Selena and I film lifestyle, work from home, work day in my life, work week in my life type vlogs. So if you do like this kind of videos, definitely stick around. But this week I'm actually filming a work week in my life. I actually have only filmed one other of these, but I really like them because I don't have to just sit here and film all day like one day i can just do little clips throughout the week and then just make it into a video so you guys saw i did go to the gym this morning unfortunately i went a little bit later than i wanted to i usually like to get to the gym by 6 or honestly 5 30 but i didn't get to the gym until honestly like 6 45 this morning maybe it was like 6 50 i'm not sure my husband and i actually have three gyms that i go to but I went to the one that I go with my husband and did a really good leg workout. I actually was there for, I think we left at like 7.50 and it's right next to our apartment. So I literally like got inside, 
logged on to work and got some stuff done and then I took my dog out on a walk just because he hadn't been out since last night and then I made me some breakfast. I made my protein coffee with my new Legion protein powder, which I'm obsessed with. It's the French vanilla flavor. So it's like a French vanilla brown sugar protein coffee. Super good. And I will actually just link the recipe below that I used or made. I did make me some avocado toast for breakfast and I just added some strawberries on the side. But yeah, I will definitely catch up with you guys at some point today. I actually need to shower pretty soon. It is 9.32. I just need to get a little bit of work done and then I'll hop in the shower real quick and then I'm gonna come back to my desk and do my devotional. Um, I like to do my devotional every morning. I really just read my Bible and just take notes from what I read and put it in my little notebook that I have. So that's pretty much it. But I hope y'all enjoy this vlog. And once again, if you do like these kind of videos, definitely hit that subscribe button. But I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work now and I'll talk to y'all at some point today. So this is what I'm having for lunch. I just heated up leftovers from dinner last night. So I made some lemon dill salmon. I added some um, Parmesan cheese on top and then just some roasted veggies I made last night as well. I also made, y'all, it's so good. It's this homemade rosemary bread. I actually started making it on Sunday, then I cooked it yesterday. And then I also just uh, mixed up some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and some like herbs de providence. Just like an herb seasoning I got from Walmart. Yeah, that's what we were eating for lunch today. Thank you. 
guys so it is a much later now it is actually 12 50 right now i've been pretty busy with work today my day's going okay i just feel like this week honestly starting on a tuesday has really pushed i wouldn't even say just me maybe like other other of my coworkers kind of back but really losing a day in like a sales driven role is a lot i obviously am not complaining because i was so thankful for having monday off but i don't know i just feel like this week's really slow and i just not really seeing much movement but you know i'm just gonna keep trying my best putting really all the effort that i can into my work day i could be honestly more productive but sometimes I really just need to step away from my desk but i just uh heated up some of our dinner from last night i made a it's a lemon shrimp orzo i am not talking right it is a lemon shrimp orzo asparagus pasta with shrimp did i say that or is that, I don't even know what I'm saying. My brain is like not co cooperating right now, but eating that for lunch. And then I'm gonna go take my dog out on a quick walk, probably for about 20 minutes and then get back to work. I did work out this morning. Obviously you guys can see. Hopefully I don't have to work out after work. So whenever I work out, I honestly could off around four, 4.30, just depending my lunch, whenever I got on that morning. But this week I really just honestly need to work as much as I can. So but that is all that I have going on right now. I'm gonna eat my lunch and I'll catch up with y'all probably at the end of my work day. So this is what I'm eating for dinner. I went ahead and picked up some tacos after I cleaned my car. I just got me two Langua tacos and then I have some steak tacos in here for my husband and I. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog for tonight and I will pick my camera back up in the morning. Right now it is 7.19, but, oh, you gave me your bowl? Thank you. But I just got back inside from taking my dog on a little walk and then I'm actually logging into work right now. I'm not supposed to get on until eight, but I'm just gonna send some notes, check my email, and then I actually need to take some trash out and clean a little bit and then I cook some food, make coffee, and then start my work day. So thought I would say hello. Um, today's gonna be pretty busy just cause tomorrow is Friday and I have a lot of stuff that I do need to get done before the weekend i'm actually so ready for the weekend which it's so crazy i honestly should not say that because i just had a three-day week and i feel like i'm so behind this week as is so but i just wanted to say hello and a good morning To the vlog. Are you going to shake? I love you, my baby. Hi. It's your turn back. Yeah. And that was your ball.
is what I made for breakfast today. I My waffles honestly do not look pretty. These are little heart-shaped mini waffles. They are the blueberry Kodiak cake waffle mix. And then I added some cinnamon and some butter. And then I just have a side of raspberries to go with it. But I'm going to go ahead and eat my food now and then get back to work. I swear this happens every time I try to make a waffle, a mini waffle. busy this morning as you guys saw i did take my dog on a walk and then i got online around like 7 20 -ish. had to get some stuff done before i started my work day at 8 um so i was pretty busy working and then i made me some breakfast i was literally so hungry so just made me some pancakes eggs and then add some raspberries on top and got back to work my job has seriously been so stressful this week and it's just because in my industry right now, like in staffing consulting, we don't really have that many jobs. Like our clients are not really needing any positions filled. And like, that is my job. Like I recruit for clients. And if there's no business, then I'm not one, making money to not hitting my numbers. I have weekly KPIs I have to hit each week. And obviously every week's not gonna go perfect. You're not gonna hit your KPIs each week. You obviously wanna try, but unfortunately, you're going to have bad weeks. You're going to have good weeks. But this week has just not been the most successful for me, unfortunately. So I'm just really getting to myself just because we went through a round of layoffs about two months ago. And I never told you guys that. I should have honestly just forgot. And half of my team was laid off. Half of my company honestly was laid off in all divisions. So it is really nerve wracking right now. But, you know, just trusting in God, staying faithful, knowing it's always going to be okay. It always has. It always will. But... Yeah, just, just a little stressful. Obviously, my manager hasn't told me anything. I'm actually doing a very good job. But it's just always having that little itch in the back of your head. Just like being in the unknown. But it's fine. Just trying to stay positive. But overall, everything's going great. I'm so thankful I have a job. And just being able to make money. But everything's going well. I'm so ready for the weekend. I'm so glad it is Friday. I'm actually going to grab some drinks and just like an appetizer with my friend Courtney tonight. If you guys are in the Dallas, Texas area, I'm going to E-Bar. I've been there before and it is so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I'm actually not going to take y'all with me. I'm going to end the vlog after work today. But if I ever go there again and I'm vlogging, I'll definitely show you guys. But definitely look it up. It's I highly recommend it. Like 10 out of 10. 
um, of places to go to in Dallas. Or if you guys are ever traveling to Dallas, Texas, E-Bar. If you like Mexican, I think it's maybe Tex-Mex. I'm not honestly really sure, but they have really good margaritas, great food, and just great overall. So I highly recommend. But I'm about to make me some coffee. If you guys have never noticed, I do not drink coffee like right when I wake up. I actually need to drink my chlorophyll water and my lemon water. I just kind of honestly combine it together. I just put chlorophyll drops in and my lemon water. I haven't done that today. I might do it probably at some point today. I'm not gonna do it this morning though, but I do need to drink some coffee. As I was saying, I don't drink coffee, one, every day, and two, I don't drink it immediately, like, right when I wake up. I have to drink water, especially because my routine every morning is the exact same. Wake up, put my workout clothes on, go walk my dog, and then come back clean, do laundry, dishes, anything that I need to do around the house. This morning, I cleaned out my whole closet because I had so many clothes everywhere. I hadn't even really unpacked from the Bahamas, so from the Bahamas. I think it just <laughs> slurred all my words. So was up there a lot. I didn't get any footage, honestly, of me cleaning this morning because I'm just trying to like stay focused and get back to work. But um, so that's why I don't drink coffee because I'd rather just hydrate with water and then drink coffee when I'm actually ready to grind it out with my job and just stay focused and not try to be distracted. Coffee just gives me a little bit of that, you know, that. Mm. So I'm about to make me some coffee and then get back to work. Also, yesterday after work, I did not get much footage at all. All I got was me at Hotworks. I meant to film my night, but I actually filmed a TikTok and completely forgot to film my YouTube. So I do apologize about that, which is why yesterday was probably a really short day of footage for YouTube. So that's pretty much it. Hope y'all are having an awesome week, whatever day or week you're watching this. But I'm gonna make some coffee now and I'll talk to y'all some point too. So I just got back from running some errands and I only took clips of me at Sprouts, but I did go and get some skincare. So I was out of my face wash. Um, I was using, honestly, I cannot remember what it's called. It is not clicking to me, but I used to use SkinCeuticals and I loved it and actually used their LAJ cleanser back in 2019. I just always like to switch up my skincare or my skincare products just to see really what works best for my skin. But I got it again. This is the LAJ cleanser. I don't know if it's going to focus. This is their LAJ cleanser and it actually feels very like soothing and um, kind of has almost like a, not a minty type feeling. <laughs> Maybe it's like a minty. I don't know the word that I'm trying to say, honestly. But it feels really good on the skin. And the lady at the spa said to use this more for nighttime just because just because it is a little harsher on your skin. She said it is good for people who have like acne prone skin, um, very oily skin, sensitive skin. And that's kind of what I have. I don't get that much acne, but I do have like an acne prone face. It My skin does break out when it wants to, but... I grew up with really good acne. My skin's very oily, very red. So I wanted to try this, but she said this is really best for night. She said not to use it two times a day because it can irritate your skin. So got this just for nighttime. And then she did recommend the Oxygen Infusion Wash by Skin Better Science. Um, I actually have heard about this brand and I've actually been wanting to try them. I just, I'm so just like used to what I've been using. Got this for the morning time and then I also got this for nighttime. And I have moisturizer, sunscreen, serum, all of that already. I just really needed some more face wash. And then I did go to Sprouts because I needed to get some stuff um, for dinner. I'm going to make some steak for dinner for my husband and I. So, um, well, I got bacon, that's not for dinner. That is for, I guess it technically can be for dinner, but it's for breakfast. But I needed to get some more lemons for my lemon chlorophyll water and then also for the steak marinade, which I need to get going. The steak only really needs to be in the marinade for like two hours and I'm not, this almost fell. I'm not cooking it until tonight. So I'm gonna do that after I'm done filming this. Um, another lemon, so I got four and then I got some more olive oil just cause I needed this for the marinade. Yo, I can't really talk. I needed this for the marinade and just needed more olive oil in general. I've been using avocado oil, which I really like, but some stuff, if I make like brownies or cookies or so I don't really think you need olive oil and cookies, but you know what I mean? Some stuff I only really like to use olive oil. So I got that and then I just got some 
brown eggs from Sprouts. So that's my little haul. I'm gonna make the steak marinade and then I'm gonna take my dog on a walk. So there's four steaks here. Should I make all four? Babe. What? Should I make all four or just do three? Sure. All four? Sure. Not you like marinade them all. Do you want some? Did you want to fry? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right now. Once again, I just finished my work day. It is 5.02. Today was a pretty good day towards the end of the day. I was very, very busy. I had like three calls back to back up until five. So and it good. I wouldn't say this week was super successful, but once again, I'm just thankful that I have a job and I'm able to make good money and I'm able to put my skills somewhere. So anyways, but that's pretty much it if you guys if you guys do like these kind of videos definitely let me know i did really enjoy filming a whole work week once again i know i have done it one time but if you guys do like these kind of videos definitely let me know i would be more than happy to film more i usually just stick to like a weekend or just like one day in my life type vlog but if y'all do like it let me know and i'd be happy to film more that is pretty much it thank you all so much again and i will catch you in my next vlog bye guys